Welcome back, everyone. Well, the King of the Road is here. And where are we going to be traveling to today? Well, actually, tonight I'm going out to Golden Triangle Raceway Park for uh, the thrills and spills of auto racing. They're kicking off another season tonight. So if anybody watching wants to go out there, it starts mm -hmm. at 8 o'clock. The gates open at 6. Golden Triangle Raceway Park on uh, Highway 90. It's the ASCS Sprint Cars. Cool. My favorite tonight. Uh, all right. But tomorrow night at 930 on yeah. Fox 4 KBTV, right after the news, we'll be uh, featuring a new... Well, actually, we're going to be t playing a little clip of Legally Blonde that was recently at the Port Arthur Little Theater. Oh, yeah. Okay. We'll to check that out. And uh, we videotaped for them and uh, just want to give them a little plug. They got a show coming up next month. Our local Lick Southeast Texas this time is Bronco Jr. and Eric Middleton. Okay. A couple of area troubadours doing a really good job. Eric Middleton just released an album. It's called Fresh Air. It's getting rave reviews. And uh, Bronco Jr. has an album called All the Miles in Texas. What kind of vibe do they have? It's a country, kind of Texas country. Mm -hmm. All right. All uh, self-produced, you know, they, they're songwriters. And if there's a band watching or a musician, call me up and you can get on our local licks. It's a 409-748-9689. Uh, this guy is actually from my high school. Probably graduated. Probably I probably graduated when he was born. Oh. It's uh, Odessa Permian, uh, Odessa, Texas, that famous high school. He used That's, to go to Permian? I went there and so did he. And he's got, his name's uh, Brian Milson. He's got a song called... Uh, Nothing Grows in Shadows. Okay, okay. We'll be uh, showing that as our music clip of the week, sponsored by King's Country Internet Radio. Absolutely the best country music mix on the planet, if I don't say so myself. Mm -hmm. Available 24-7, worldwide, and crystal clear at uh, kingscountry.net. It's magnificent. It sure is. Now, let's go back. Okay, so you guys went to the same high school, and of course, you know, I, I'm familiar with Odessa. I lived there for a couple of years. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so um, talk a little bit about, is he up and coming, and kind of what is his style and everything like that? Well, he graduated from Permian and uh, started playing when he was 17. Mm -hmm. Probably went to Nimitz Junior High. Uh -huh. I, that's where I went. But... Uh, he went to uh, UT, uh, Texas Tech and uh -huh. uh, graduated in 2006 and started his uh, professional career. He's making a name for himself in Nashville now, and he's got a great song called uh, Nothing Grows in Shadows that we'll be featuring tomorrow night. Uh -huh. It's about bullying. He said he was oh. bullied when he was going to Permian. Okay. But he was also a jock, so I don't understand That's how that works. That's what I was going to ask. I was like, did he play football? Yeah, he played football. Oh, really? He was a mojo football player. Uh -huh. Remember Friday Night oh, Lights? Friday no? Night Lights. Yeah, I know yeah. all about that. Yeah. Yeah, I was living there during that time, working in radio in the late 80s when H.G. Uh, Bissinger wrote that best-selling book, uh -huh. What did you guys Lights. think about that book at the time? Uh, a lot of the people in Odessa were enraged by yeah. it because it was quite, it's quite a bit different than the, mu the movie. Okay. It uh, is more critical of the program and it talks about cheating and things and uh, oh. it led to them being uh, disqualified for a, for a period of time but uh, mm. Friday Night Lights it was controversial there interesting I don't okay. know if the author ever returned <laughs> yeah, exactly. I bet he didn't still it's probably to this day <laughs> yeah you worked in Odessa too didn't you you did a little bit of yeah, television I, did. There. I worked at the NBC affiliate at the time yeah, yeah. and so um, actually that was my first reporting job ever and so I loved it out there it was very fun kind of yeah. isolated but they, they do have a good airport yeah, you can yeah. go anywhere in the world <laughs> they, <from there. laughs> they have a great airport but if you're trying to go somewhere it's about a five-hour drive to anywhere Dallas or yeah you know if you talk about El Paso yeah they always ask how how many hours is it to a certain place <laughs> Yeah, not how many minutes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it's a fun place. And the Odessa and Midland, the, the dynamics that they have there as well. I prefer Southeast Texas, but we don't have the world's so largest true. jackrabbit here. Like that is, well, you know, so you have to take some and you got to win some and lose some. You know, one other thing, just to get off the subject really quickly, is that, you know, for people that are watching at home, not only, you know, can you, you know, watch your show, which is awesome and you have a lot of followers, oh, you. but you can also advertise as well. Yeah, just call me uh, mm -hmm. or email Jim at jimkingoftheroad.com. And by the way, a week from tomorrow, Cooking Channel's going to re-air that thing. It might yeah. be the last time that you'll get to see it. It's a uh, feature that we did at uh, Mauriceville Crawfish Festival, yes, which, by the way, is coming up in April, uh -huh. April 11th through the 13th in Mauriceville, the crawfish capital of Texas. And when are they going to air for that last uh, time? Cooking Channel at, uh, that's 1230, cha the channel is uh -huh. 1230 on uh, Time Warner, that's what I get, uh -huh. and it's at 530. Uh, 530. A week from tomorrow, Saturday, on the Cooking Channel. It's All right. Kind of a... Surreal. Okay, well, take us to the break with that saying that you said on the Cooking Channel. Watch the Cooking Channel <laughs> next Saturday at 5:30. I thought you had some salad that you made or something like. Oh, you know. I. <laughs> I'm working on it. I'm taking lessons from Wayne Toops. Oh, awesome. Yeah. <laughs>